Welcome back to the street course for the street inline final. And what a great competition we have in the book so far. Five skaters we have seen. Now we see five fresh faces, including our gold medalist from last year, Soichiro Kanashima. But there's four other skaters that could very well win this competition. Remember, the skaters get three runs each, 45 seconds each on the course. So you can go with your highest score, Arlo Eisenberg. And of course, we mentioned these five skaters already. They could be the final itself. This could be it. I mean, <laughs> this is a loaded heat. Four of the five riders in this heat were the top four finishers last year. And there's no reason that they shouldn't repeat that this year. And the only the fifth guy, CJ Wellsmore, has been dominating every competition for the last couple of years. I mean, he is a he's a threat to win this thing. And that's who we get an opportunity to see. First off, CJ Wellsmore from Australia comes in. Let's watch this guy attack this course. I mean, he's really gonna charge and fly through this thing. But what makes him special, Whoa. look at that boost. Right into the big double grab 360 over the box but he's also really good on the handrails and the grind, so he's the total package. Case in point right there, I mean, that was beautiful stuff. In our first five skaters, only one skater finished his entire run without falling. And this young man is already out doing it to start heat number two. It, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's bad news for all those guys on the bubble from the first heat. I mean, this is a really stacked field here in the second round. Awesome. 270 into the embankment. And whereas we saw all those guys going down in the first heat, I mean, CJ just came out and killed it with his very first run. So he's got two more runs left now. He can do whatever he wants because that's going to be a great score. So CJ Wellsmore gets us started. And we will find out right away who he knocks out of the first group of five with this first score because it's going to be a good one. And we get set for our next skater out of Canada, Richie Eisler, another very good skater, sporting the helmet. And an 85.33 for Wellsmore. That's the highest score of the day. And deservedly so. I mean, that was a much better run than anything we've seen so far. And we should see a lot more of this. I mean, this is a good field. I can't emphasize it enough. Big disaster soul grind from Richie. And you and I talked about it during the break. It's like, what can you show? What do you want to show? Whoa. You know, because you don't want to show everything if you make it to the final. Exactly. And it, that may come into play for these guys, especially if they get one good run under their belts. They might hold back for another two runs, not show everything. Of course, they, like us, sat back and watched the first group of five. What he just did. Yeah. They fell quite a bit. Of course, um, Richie will have another opportunity out there on the course, but um, they had an opportunity to watch and learn and see how the judges were scoring them. So that's a benefit when you go second. Of course, I don't know how much they could have gleaned from the way the judges were scoring the first heat. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I know we were mystified a little bit. Yeah, if you try to guess what they're looking for, you're, you're not going to get many clues from the scores. Warapaj Boonin getting ready to drop in, and I always like to watch him skate. He's been coming to these games for years, and you know, he's a showman also, which I like. He is, and he's great. I mean, he's got, he's got the skill set, he's got the personality, and he's got the style. Uh, is that his one of his teammates, a guy named Jersek, is right. one of the best skaters in the world, certainly in all of Asia, uh, and he's not here. He, I mean, he is noticeably absent from this event, and I was talking to Warapaj about it, and he said the reason why is Jersek now has become like a team manager oh, wow. in Thailand, and so he's like, he's dealing with a whole bunch of like bureaucratic stuff. He's, he's like got to make sure they've all got their flights and everything. I said, that's crazy. Send yeah. him here. He needs to be here. Right. He needs to get a flight for himself. He's having a good run right he's here. He's having right? a great one. So now he's representing for Thailand and putting on quite a show. Fakie 360 with the monkey plant. We've seen some good airs, definitely some great grinds. And again, just like CJ, another solid run. Yeah. As Arlo mentioned, Warapaj is from Thailand, and we have eight different countries that have been represented out of 10 skaters in the, out of heat number one and heat number two. A lot of camaraderie in this sport. You always like to see your mate do a good job. And Warapaj is up in the ante right here, and he'll get a decent score, a 78.67, so that immediately puts him in the final. Yep, so far two guys we've already seen yep. better runs than, than the whole first heat. Yuto Goto getting ready to go. 
A lot of toes in there, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and, said it. And he is another fantastic skater and, and one of those guys that practices and practices his line until he gets it and then just destroys it when he comes and competes. Yeah. Uh, Soichiro, who's from Japan, won this event last year. Uh, Yuto got second, and I think these guys are looking probably to repeat that again here. They skate together in Japan. Uh, they're both from both from the same area. Oh, sliding out on the top. He's been hitting that all day, so this is, he's going to hope he throws this, certainly now he's going to hope he throws this run away. Again, as Arla mentioned, uh, he can throw this run away because he has a total of three runs. You get 45 seconds when you're out in the course. You know, sometimes what they can do when they miss a trick, instead of just, you know, throwing their hands up in the air and saying, you know what, I know this isn't going to be my my best run. Instead of working on the line, they can actually try a trick that yeah. maybe they didn't want to do otherwise. Just sort of get one in there. Sort of your, your time, your right. load on the course. May as well take a chance. Why not do it? If you ever read the book Outliers, you get 10,000 hours of doing something until you get it right, right? And then you're really good at it. So might as well use the course as much as you can. So we'll see what Uto did on that one as we get set for last year's gold medal winner. Of course, he will go last. So Ichiro Kanashima from Japan. He's just amazing skater. Sit back and he'll put on a show. So Ichiro is great. One of the top street skaters in the world. He, he rides for Valo, which is a prestigious street team. I uh, was just featured in their latest video, Valo 5. Had a great section. And this guy is really revered across the world for his street skating. Has a mishap up there on the coping, laid his hand down first and then slid out, so that will hurt him a little bit. But again, he has two runs left. And as Arla mentioned, uh, he's one of the smart ones. He'll stay on the course and use it to his advantage. Fakie 360, uh, disaster, Ali Macchio. 360 Macchio, which I will note, an interesting little footnote, uh, Macchio's name for a Japanese skater from the very first day, the very first competition back in 1994 in Venice Beach, a skater named Macchio from Japan. Wow. And so there's a trick to this day, still named for Macchio, the Macchio grind. I remember covering in line back in, in 94, 95 back well, then, and the California exploded. We're showing know. our age, but yeah. oh yeah, that was, I mean, that was the beginning for us. That was huge. I mean, you guys would get 10, 15, 20, thousand people watching oh, right. the contest it was crazy so cj wellsmore man what a great first run he he had he doesn't need to do anything yeah. different you know let's he's see in. what he does he's got a free roll now yeah but i mean you're not going to see him slacking off he is he's your overall leader and it looks like he's dressed ready to go to a party right <laughs> he, <after is>. this. <laughs> he probably is going straight to a party yeah after this. <laughs> oh almost comes down does a good job of holding himself up but you know he makes it fun it always yeah. looks like he's having fun out there he makes skating look fun and it's it's a pleasure to watch yeah look out he's got a free-flowing but aggressive and again note the name of this sport aggressive inline approach about himself coming in fakey fakey wall ride over the box right nice in. zero spin into the backside savannah out here at the Kia World Extreme Games being treated to CJ Wellsmore and he had an 85.33 again the top five scores advanced to the final we got a couple on the bubble right now Eisler could change things up and Goto of course he has that 65.33 so right now there's a couple guys still safe in the first heat but that could change dramatically as we continue in this heat number two and run number twos the weather's starting to cool off a little bit, but it should not affect the skaters because there's no real moisture in the air right now, so they shouldn't have to worry about that. And Richie's from Canada, so cold, oh. cold doesn't bother him. Yeah, no doubt. Now, him going off the course like that, does that, you Well, know, there's no penalty for no it. No penalty, it's, yeah. It's all about your time. As long as you get back in and take advantage of every second you've got out there. There you go, 270 topside sole. Now, Richie missed a lot of tricks in his first run, so he's got a lot of room for improvement. Already, you see him much cleaner run, except for the little oh, stroll down the grass. Hard. Yeah, you can see the frustration. And there's a couple guys... Wake Shetman has a 76.33, and Kirill from the previous heat has a 76.67. So, a couple. You know, it's interesting. Yuto's in, but he has not had his perfect run yet. Right, yeah. So, I, maybe he's a fairly certain he, he's going to want to clean it up here. Well, yeah. He was our second place finisher last right. year. So, he, he's not shown what he's capable of yet. So, I don't think he's looking at this as a free run. I think, I think he's trying to work out the kinks. Yeah, that's a good point. 
and he might just sneak up on you and just blow it away. That's a great a trick right there, yeah. off of the bank, spinning fakie into the uh, sweat stance. In his run, what is the hardest thing you think he's done so far? You said he's compacted so many different tricks, but if you were to break, say, Paul, this is what he's done that's the hardest, what would it be so far? Well, probably that trick that, that we saw, the jumping off of the bank all the way up to the, you know, it's probably about a four-foot jump, and right. then landing sweat stance is a difficult trick. We'll see if he adds that into his finals run, which you'll have three of but coming up. Usually one of Yuto's strengths is his consistency. Yeah. He does hard tricks, and he hits them all. And he and that was certainly his best run. Heat number two is in the books. Now we take a look at the results of the aggressive inline street. Round number one, heat number two. Yuto Goto, of course, from Japan with that last run of 85.67. He improves his score, and he will get in the final, as will C.J. Wellsmore, Warapaj Bonin, and Sarichiro Kanashima. So that's a look at the five of the result number two, but let's sit now take a look at who will be in the final. And the aggressive inline final will look like this. Kirill will make it. The rest we've already witnessed.